<laughs> and she keeps doing it. <laughs> Hi, family. Hello. So maybe today I have a, a Am I the Asshole? So we've fallen down this rabbit hole. Well, he has. I've oh, yeah. read it. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm ever going to get him back out. <laughs> Listen, if you ever feel like your life is a mess and you're out of control, just go to Reddit yeah. and, and, and it'll stay yeah. it'll balance you. Your yeah, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> so anyways, I came across this one. Am I the asshole for not letting my miracle baby niece be my flower girl at my wedding? My 27 female, older brother and SIL, you know what that is? Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, yes. okay. Both mid-30s, just welcomed their first child a year and a half ago after years of trying. After many failed attempts, SIL was told that she wouldn't be able to conceive due to a medical condition she has. They finally got pregnant. Since having my niece, the baby... I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> Since having my niece, the baby has been the center of attention at every family event we've had since she was born. Birthdays, weddings, family get-togethers, you name it. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my niece, but it can get to be a little too much when my SIL goes on and on about how long they tried to conceive, complications they've had, miscarriages they've had, ETC. Like, a little too much info. Many family members have commented on how it's a little bit excessive, but no one has said anything because they don't want to sound like an AH. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm getting married in the spring and my brother and SIL approached me last weekend about having my niece be the flower girl. Now, my fiance, 35 male, has two children, 10 male and six female from his previous marriage. His son is one of his groomsmen, while his daughter had asked to be our flower girl when we told them the news that we were getting married a year ago, as it's something she's always wanted to do, so of course we said yes. So I explained this to my SIL when she asked me about my niece. She asked if my stepdaughter can just carry my niece with her. I said, I don't think she'd be comfortable with that, considering she's six. She then asked why I can't give that role to my niece and allow herself to carry my niece as the flower girl. I said no, because I already promised my stepdaughter. She then started going off about how my lack of effort to incorporate my niece is disgusting to her. I should honor her in some way since I know how long and hard they tried for my niece. Now, I may sound like an AH for this, but I kind of got fed up and snapped and said, incorporate my niece how? By the time the wedding comes around, she'll be two years old. The entire family already knows your story about how long and hard you guys tried for her. What more do you expect me to do to honor her? She started crying. And she said that clearly I don't love my one and only niece and I'm letting her down. I said, of course I love my niece. And obviously she's going to be involved in pictures and stuff, but I'm not going to let my stepdaughter down by giving my niece a role she's too young to remember anyways. Well now, SIL and my brother are pissed off with me for not letting my niece be flower girl and are running around telling the rest of the family I don't love my niece. My mom had been trying to stay neutral but thinks my stepdaughter would understand if I explained to her I need to give that role to my niece. I am firm in my decision though and my fiance is thankful that I didn't let his daughter down. Am I the asshole for not allowing my niece to be the flower girl? No. No. Not even close. No. In the beginning, she sounded like she was petty because it's like, why are you competing with a child? But then as the story went on, you actually realize that it, it has nothing to do with the kid and everything to do with the sister-in-law and potentially the brother. Like the sister-in-law is using the story or the baby as a means to just have all the attention on her. Because it's not like the sister-in-law is talking about the baby. She's always talking about how hard it was for us to have this baby do you know what i'm saying i think she would have been okay under any other circumstance but the fact that she's giving it to the daughter of the husband that she's marrying that like that seals the deal right there you're so kind for even indulging and really pulling this apart <laughs> you're so kind because <laughs> i was just like no I, I, it just just reminds me of my wedding my wedding just to remind yes. you no and but that's I mean, not even like a bridezilla thing no it's, it's not yeah you're allowed to have that day be your day yeah um, and the entitlement that you somehow can refocus the attention of my wedding day on you, not even your kid on, on you, you yes. is insane. Yeah. No. She'll be in the pictures and she'll be fine. And, 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 and so yeah. you. And then in, in addition to that, I never thought that she was being petty. I can understand. So parents in general, I'm trying to be aware of this as we are pregnant and we are going to have a child. 
No one cares as much as you about all the stories about your child's first sneeze or the funny thing they did at preschool, whatever. No one cares as much as you do. And I have had the experience of like parents just sharing things that I just don't care. Like it's too much now. Please back up a little bit. So I think it's a parental thing just in general. Um, and then on top of that, it's kind of agitated by the fact that they waited for this miracle for forever. But again, it is about them, just as you said. Yeah. Um, but you're allowed to shift focus. This is the craziest argument I've ever heard. Do you know how stressful planning a wedding is mm -hmm. for me to even talking this much mm -hmm. about this nonsense? Mm -hmm. Also, no, no one's mentioned the fact that they want her to replace her daughter because yes. that's who this child is going to be. Yes, it's from the husband's And then when you marriage. say stupid things like the six-year-old will understand if you tell her that, at that point in time, I know that you actually don't consider anyone other than the point of view that you would like to consider. So no, I'm, I'm not willing to engage in conversation. This is, this is the wildest thing I've ever yeah. heard. Those are my children. Those are my children-in-law, but they are my children. Yeah. And she's six and she will remember this. Yeah. Um, yours is two and will not. Yeah. Like, everyone's going to be fine. And it's, it, it, you know, it, it is kind of the husband's wedding too. You know what it's I mean? It's kind of his wedding. He might too. be there. Like he like, might be yeah, getting married like there. These people are making his children like this dude just showed up just here showed that up. day. Yes. Um, no. And then his kids don't have to be involved in his wedding. Please don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. Oh, it got to her. Everyone was like, "No, oh, bitch, no. you're the asshole." She deleted it. Okay, she's the asshole. She's obviously the asshole. <laughs> Look, deleted. Oh no. Okay, so I remember what the rest of it. So the gist of it is that this woman and um, her fiance, they <laughs> live together. He works in community service and he um, has obviously hard and long days. And then sometimes he likes to unwind by taking a bath. But when he takes a bath, it's the same way that I do. And it's like bath bombs and the special oils and the body scrub and the music and dim the lights and burning the candles. And you know mm, what I mean? It's, mm. it's like that. And Mogal thinks it's appropriate to walk in when he's doing that and then use the bathroom. And I don't mean like she takes a pee. She takes a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and she keeps doing it. <laughs> and oh my God, I'm fucking disgusting. And it has agitated this man so much. That he started tracking it on his phone. Because he was like, bitch, could you not? And then she was like, I don't do it all the time. And he's like, on the 15th of February. <laughs> First of all, it doesn't matter whether you do it all the time. You once. shouldn't do it once. Should never you shouldn't happen. do it once. Um, unless it's an, dude, unless it's like an emergency. Right? Meaning like, you just ate something really bad. You're freaking Black driving tires. home from the mall because it's either here or it's, or it's in the car. And like you kick the door open and I'm sitting there buck naked. Like I understand that. Like those are those are difficult circumstances. But just like regular. First of all, so many different things that you can do though. Like when you decide to go to bath, right? You'll tell me. You'll be like, I'm gonna take a bath now. He does. Um, he 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 tells her every time. He he announces it every time. And then her no, argument, and she just likes to shit while he's taking the bath. The bath. Yeah. She gets off on that shit. Um and her argument is she doesn't get to control it. Like, when the urge comes, it comes. No, bullshit. You're an adult. Um, then... you're, an, you're an adult. If, if, if that was the case, then adults would be shitting their, their pants all the time. Because you don't always have access to a bathroom. But also, it's like late at night. This man is winding down. You've had access to the bathroom the whole day. He literally has come from community. He's stressed out and wants to unwind. And it's stressing him out so <laughs> much that he kept having breakdowns and being like, I just want this 30 minutes to myself please don't do this <laughs> Dude, when you're in there, not, like, please don't Kanye, do this. it's not even about like just wanting this 30 minutes to myself you're entitled it's just to it. not it's gross it's gross no bro it's disgusting no it's just and gross it's by the way, this post didn't even make it 14 hours because everyone just chewed into her no no um, they're like dude no no um, just no just no um so one of the comments is YTA, isn't you're the asshole. Don't worry, you don't have to put up with his tears much longer. It sounds like he's at his wit's end with you and will dump you soon. The problem will sort itself out then. You can go whenever you want.